Welcome to Homebrew Magic, a video series about EDH where we do our best to build unique, fun, or just plain silly deck lists to play against each other, followed by a breakdown of how they did so we can all learn and get better at this game that we love. Tonight, on a very special Touch by a Homebrew, uh, <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be drafting. <laughs> we're going to be drafting Mystery Booster. So, uh, this is Nelson. I'm extremely excited because I've cracked a lot of this product, but I have not drafted it yet. Uh, I drafted so, it once and it was a train wreck. For me, oh, <laughs> I mean in general, because the guy who won got the uh, the blue creature that your opponents only they they lose a phase. Oh, was that Kennedy that got that? Yeah, am I remembering this correctly? Time, okay. time something. Yeah, the, the guy time. from Mirrodin. Yeah, so he had that, and he had a soul ring. <laughs> so he just He's... like eh, turn one island soul ring, turn two face spinner. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. That's it. Cool. <laughs> That's fun. Let's remember. Glad Mystery, we played. Mr. Booster was uh, the draft we did that one time where the guy just cracked open all three of his boosters and they got mad at us when we yeah. yelled. Yeah. <laughs> he had never drafted Shut up, before. I, Shut up! I know how to draft. <laughs> Dude. So. Thanks. So that's that's what we, we're doing. We all know how to draft. And uh, so instead of like a full on, you yeah. know, best of three each. Depending on how long the games go, this might be part one of three. So, mayhaps, yeah. mayhaps. So basically, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do Teach versus Chris, Schnell versus Nelson, and then the winner of each of those games will take on each other in the ultimate finale. Yes. In in the cage. So with that, so gentlemen. Look, so look forward to that, or just watch it anyway. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> gentlemen. Start your drafters. Left, to right, left. Left, to right, left. Put a little bit. All right. How's that? Perfect. Did you cut my deck, sir? It's right there. I need dice. As do I. I should have. My dice bag is way down no, there. No, that's still your deck. This is my deck? Yeah, this one's facing him. I mean, this is how I set my library when I draw. I that's how I always set in front of you to cut it. There you go. Are we done cutting things? Yes. This is me, for sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're on round one. <laughs> <laughs> we may be here a while. <laughs> we are playing best of one. You will get one free mulligan of your choice. <laughs> halfway through the game. <laughs> I'm taking my mulligan right now. You right, won the roll. You won the roll off. Teej will go first. Teej has the option. Now with this fucking hand. Ooh. Comes that free mulligan. Better use it. I wanted to wait until I turn three. <laughs> and draw right, seven cards. Draw seven right cards. when Chris swings for lethal in response, <laughs> mulligan. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Alright, this is my deck. Yep. Okay. I'm not taking my eyes off of him now. Alright. I saw you look up at Schnell. You totally took your eyes off that deck. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Alright. It's okay. Nelson and I are providing color commentary. We gotta, we gotta bring back Pro Magic. I don't yep. know if Pro Magic's not a thing anymore. I just have never watched any of it, so I don't know what the commentary is normally like. Also, I also don't like this hand. I assume normally Ooh, here the, we com go. the commentators aren't sitting right next to the players. <laughs> right going, over their shoulder. What is this idiot thinking? <laughs> Occasionally leaning in view of the camera. <laughs> Hang on. What does that do? <laughs> I will, uh... Yeah. Marshall and Paul Cheon, you are not. <laughs> I believe you because I have no idea who that is. Marshall Sutcliffe. Marshall Sutcliffe. He's the man. Not only does he do magic stuff, he does watch repairing videos. Uh, really? Might mm -hmm. be I interested didn't know that. In that then. That's cool. Fancy watches. Watches I will never own. Every every video that he just throws in the garbage and buys a new one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> repaired. Fuck. Repaired well, AF. <laughs> this is not gonna go well for uh for your friend Tej. But I'm not gonna mulligan anymore. As I say, you've utilized your one free yep. use and your secondary option. Yep. <laughs> Backup mulligan in case the first one breaks down. <laughs> well, here we go. So, starting down and not on the draw. Uh, I'm going to start with the swamp. Has not a powerful opening. Right, pass turn. <laughs> Does have a land draw for the yes. turn. Yeah. I will also play swamp. Oh, pass oh god. Mirror match. <laughs> and in your turn, I'm going to cycle scare feast to draw a card. There it is. There it is. That's, that's, that's how he did it. That's opening desperation right there. That's what yes, he was going is. for. Yeah. That's what he mulliganed for. He wanted to be able to <laughs> yeah. cycle. Mountain. Really put the fear of God in Chris. Seeing a second color on turn two already does have the fear in me. play Fretwork Colony. 1-1 one, one insect that can't block. 
but at the beginning of my upkeep, I put a plus one plus one counter on it, and I lose a life. Ooh, nice. That seems real clock, good. But so are you. Pass turn. Here's where that pacifism you drafted <laughs> yeah. just fucking locks him out of the game. Oh, pass <laughs> turn. Ooh. One tap. Upkeep. Put a counter on my bug. Things aren't looking good for... I really have the plus one plus one counter dice. I wanted the skull die. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I was just gonna say. I got it. He's about it. to miss a trigger, and I'm gonna <laughs> come down like a fucking real judge on him. Swamp. You're supposed to be missing land drops already. Uh, move to combat. That was my only strategy. <laughs> I mean, yep. Chris, take two. Down to 18. Okay. Oof. My bug. how the turntables. The bug has paid for itself already. Uh, second turn. Oh God. You you second main. Second, second main. Tiger <laughs> scrapper. Two three menace, and I can exert it as it attacks. If I do, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Jesus. I wanted that thing to come back to me one more time. I was waiting for it too. That was never coming back to me then. <laughs> <laughs> when I was thinking about red, I was like, oh, no, no, that. stop. Ooh, that You're ruining the strategy. He's establishing <laughs> board presence. Not really. Court Hussar. With his house so, of flying diamonds. Yep. <laughs> it is a 1 3 vigilance uh, when it enters the battlefield. <clears throat> Look at the top three cards of your library, then put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So look at the top three. One into my hand. Oh my good gravy. Um, good gravy or like sarcastic good yeah. gravy? <laughs> Garbage. Um, oh, okay, gross. put this one into my hand. I'm not looking forward to playing Tej in the finals. Rest on the bottom. <laughs> Keep your guard. Uh, when this enters the I mean, we all know it's going to happen. Sack it unless white was spent to cast it. Oof. Yeah. Right. Back up. Pass turn. <laughs> but you got to stack his deck before he took five. That's true. Untap. Okay. Yep. That, I lose life. Look, we're tied. <laughs> and when he chooses Anybody's not game to attack, here. yeah. Uh, we'll move to combat. Yep. Chris. Yep. I'm going to attack you. Exert it. Five. I'm going to exert it. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, down to 11. Oof, duh. Uh, second main. Teach coming in hot. Coming in ultra. Stop, fucking stop in. playing. There creature. it is. Oh my god. Hey, when it does come in, damage to a creature, destroy that creature. You got it. Pass turn. Pippity pop. <laughs> 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 Rashad and Footpad. 2-2 two, two Pirate. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacks a permanent unless he or she pays two. Ooh. Uh, goodbye, Scrapper. That was a predictable sacrifice target. Oh, uh, pass turn. One tap. Counter. Uh, Life. Oof. Bugs such Draw. a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It is a fucking thing. Uh, combat. Yep. Five. Fly, uh, five. Block you can block that one. No. Oh, <laughs> <love it. laughs> one. How kind time. how kind of you to follow no. the rules of the game. Second main swamp. <clears throat> Waiting till second main to drop lands. That's how easy it is right now. <laughs> Toxin sliver. Yep. Whenever it does combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature, it can't be regenerated. That's a really good card in the last turn. Solid sliver there. It doesn't need to use its venom. <sighs> It just needs you to know it can. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to do that. Solid flavor text. Main phase factor fiction. Oh. <laughs> Archetype. Nice. Yeah. Hey, and there's all that white man on. land. <laughs> <laughs> you know you Let's can see. shuffle before the game starts, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's recommended. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. Doesn't enter tapped. You had to make two piles. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Matt, he knew right away what he was doing with that one. Pass turn. Planes go. Tap. Uh, four. Down one. Draw for turn. Combat. Yep. Three, eight, nine. Yep, down to one. Wow. Oof. Hey. Uh, yep. second main stagger shock. <laughs> yep, you got it. You get him. <laughs> Oof da doof da. Wow. I should let you cut it before I drop my opening hand. Did you give me what I want to see? I hope so. Okay. Let's oh, do the time walk <laughs> <up again. laughs> 
Sorry. I'm a constant source of disappointment. Uh, yeah, we got a mulligan. We're using the free one. How long your cats is burying his face in the tape? Those are just crystal big toe. <laughs> <laughs> Zesty. Yes. That wasn't one of those asshole -ish cuts. That was just me not grabbing all the cards each time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can play this hand. Uh, all right, here we are. Round 1.2. We are going to keep this. <clears throat> oh, we never rolled, did this. we? We did not. Mayhaps we shall. Five. Oh, that's a good roll. Eight. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <There> it is! <laughs> Time Sidewalk. Uh, if this card is in your opening hand, you may exile it. If you do, create four Time Walk token cards and shuffle them into your great. Uh, shuffle them into your deck. Would you like four so basics? What, what uh, are you not using? I'm not using white, so give me four planes. And Sharpie on them? Uh, do nah, we have a, think, uh, we don't have no, a Sharpie? Need to. Not if he's not running planes. No. Nice. We I'm proud of you. We did it. We did it. <coughs> we kept a questionable rest of the hand. <laughs> ah, June 13th. I see why you're asking. That's why I was asking if June 13th was significant to magic in any way. I'm sure it is somehow. One of those Mark Rosewater things. Or Gygax. Or not Gygax. Garfield. Real nervous with uh, four time walks <clears throat> in that deck right so, now. So... You already took your mulligan, so you're stuck with your seven? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I'm stuck with my six, to my understanding. Oh, you didn't shuffle your hand back in. Got it. Yep. I got no, it. you just shuffled the tokens in. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were shuffling them in the redraw. Okay. No, you're um, yeah. I will, I will play, too. Okay. So I'll play a planes, tap oh. it for a caravan, escort. Right now it's a 1-1. One, one. Levels up for two. Nice. Done. Done. Yes, sir. Untap up, keep draw. Mountain. Flame jab. Oh. My escort Ooh. is dead. Interaction. Classic flame jab. <laughs> Pass to Nelson. Untap up, keep draw. Land for turn. Forest. Pass turn to you, Schnell. Okay. Untap up, keep draw. Think phase. Island. Oh, he needs one of those for his time. Mask walks. of memory. Nice. Ooh. Go ahead. Untap up, keep draw. His time walks are online. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, forest. Yeah, so many turns. <laughs> Tap three. Uh, and cast a Grazing Glade Heart. 2-2 two, two landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I may gain two life. Nice. Ooh. Go ahead, Schnell. Grazing Glade Heart and not get Rob Monster? Uh, not running black. Didn't have enough. What was that? Uh, well, forest mine. as the land for the Didn't know turn. that was coming in the final pack. <clears throat> Instant or sorcery? Sorcery. Sorcery. Okay. <laughs> Time walk. <laughs> Take next cool. turn. Cool. Pass. Here we go. My turn. <laughs> Land for the turn. So you rampant growth. God, Time I'm walk. fucking kidding me. <laughs> Land for the turn. Do it again. No, no, no. Um, I will urban evolution. I don't know how I come back from this. Draw three. I can play an additional land. Um... Planes is aren't lands. Planes is aren't lands. Yes. <laughs> go, go ahead, Nelson. Ouch. Untap, upkeep, draw. That was a turn. That felt like a turn. Felt like three turns. Pay one. Snubhorn sentry. Zero three gets plus three plus zero as long as I have the city's blessing. I only have five permanents right now. Zero out of ten doesn't grant turns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, land for turn will be a forest. I'll gain two. You can't tap that time walk for mana. Um, <laughs> Swing for two. Uh, oh shit, I never remember Savage Board Press. It's down to two. <laughs> Pass the turn. All that time taking those turns. Never thought about tomorrow. <laughs> June 14th. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Goblin Pile Driver. I don't know if that's going to help me at all. Um, I find they typically hurt. Yeah. Two that's protection from blue. One, two, three. Four cards, so I can't quite do that yet. Um, 
move to equip Mask of Memory onto the pile driver, and I'll take an extra turn after this one. <laughs> Listen, he's only got one left. That's true. That's true. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. <laughs> yeah, Elixir of Immortality. <laughs> Using my own cards against me, goddammit. Uh, just kind of a damage to player pitching. Does this create tokens? Yes. You create four time walk token cards. Yeah. So would tokens get shuffled back into your library? They're token cards. So oh, yeah. They specify that they're cards. Okay. Okay. Uh, Phantom Centaur. Yep. Pro Black. It is currently a 5 3. If damage would be dealt to it, I reduce or re uh, prevent and then remove a counter. Um. The text on that card looks weird to me. It's yeah, it's wrong. Um, switch that over there. Uh, go ahead, Nelson. All right, untap, upkeep, draw, pay three, bow of Nylia. Attacking creatures I control have death touch. Ooh. Um. Really needed one more land though. Should take a few extra turns. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I have seven cards. Uh, go Chanel. He's only up one land. I know. One tap. Up to you. That's not too bad. Land for the turn. He's only up two lands. <laughs> um, go to combat. Yep. Swing for five. Yeah, and then that, if you, you draw a card, if it hits me, right? Yes. He draws two. I draw two, two and discards one. one. Got it. Um, Mail them out. Take it. Shomu's <laughs> boss. <laughs> For five, you say? Yes. Snubby, you served me well. I'll block the snub. Okay. Block with the snub. Uh, Ooh, second main. Snub is attack. That was a joke. You laugh at me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I he already he set aside his time walk pile already, or... so I'm just no, waiting to get no, time walked no. again. <laughs> no. It's just a coincidence. It's... <laughs> I mean. Shut up, that's how. Uh, <laughs> mind stone mana. I'm going to exile <laughs> four, five, and a green for Hooting Mandrels. Hey! There's a good card. And I'm going to do my last time uh, walk. <laughs> Pass turn. Um, we will move that onto the trampler. Go to combat. Swing for nine. Thirteen. Trigger. I draw two. Discard one. Uh, we will pitch the forest. And throw down rock smallers. Four four trampler. Renowned two when it deals combat damage to a player. If it isn't renowned, it's two counters. Gross. And I will throw the mask over onto that. Go ahead. All right. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Ancient Den. Gain two. If I lose after taking four extra turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I seriously, this is crazy. I, no <laughs> I remember saying that uh, we should... We should not use those. And teachers went, oh, if you draft them, you draft them. Yeah. So. And Nelson. part of the 15. I wouldn't. I, I, I would draft. I, I kick kick Tija's ass. I think we all passed that at least once. Yeah. No, I believe I opened it. I didn't see it. Uh, Sunrise Seeker. It explores. So it is a creature card. So it gets a plus one, plus one counter, right? I don't know. Hand it's if it's, yeah, hand, <laughs> yeah it's, it's in your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. And then put the card back or put it into your graveyard. Um, I'm going to put it in my graveyard. I thought I'm going to be long for this world anyway. Um, Take your extra turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Chanel. All right, on tap. What a silly Draw. card. Oh, I was God, one yeah. land away from a really sad one of these. But it would have helped, though. Is yeah, that okay. Okay. Now that no. you, okay. Now that you have yeah, yeah. a 4-4, four, four, I'm going to throw the mask back on the Phantom Centaur. Phantom Spaceman. Um, we will 
go to combat. Mm -hmm. This is really silly in a 40 card deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, 8, 12, 13. Uh, I will block the mandrills with the seeker. Okay. And I will take, what, 5, nine. 9? Okay, so I go to 6. Trigger. Draw 2, discard 1. Um, second main. We will play... Zerta Druid. I like that card. And we will destroy that with a with an ancient grudge. Go ahead. One tap. Upkeep draw. Not a land. Pay one. Uh for Dragon's Eye Sentry, one three defender, uh, and first strike. Then I'm gonna pay three. Uh, and I'm gonna cast uh, shoulder to shoulder support two. So I will put a plus one plus one counter on each of my creatures. Do you have another plus one? Thank you, and then I will draw a card. Not what I needed. Um, go ahead, Schnell. One tap. Upkeep. Draw. Um, we'll tap this for a green. It will deal you one point of damage. There's the green and the red. To dash in Stormreach Brawler. Um, go to combat. Swing with everything that can swing. So that's now a four. It's a plus no, two it's for, for each, each, so it gets plus no, no, no. six. Uh, for each other attacking goblin. Oh, goblin. I yeah, thought it was creature. Does. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so it's I, a one. I drafted this real early expecting to see more goblins. Yeah. See? That's why I didn't take it, because I wasn't convinced that there'd be a lot of so goblins. One, On the flip side, I'm like, I'll leave it in, two, because pro blue, that might also be. So, it's a body. Uh, yeah. 5, plus 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. I take 3. Okay, well, um, I guess I'm going to block... By blocking the phantom with that, you would lose a counter before his combat damage would go back, I think, if that's relevant. Because that has first strike. Yeah, you're right. So deal damage. This yeah. would lose a counter. Yes. Yeah. So it would so, be four so power yes, okay. when you resolve damage. Yeah. Yeah. So I want this here. And I, I don't want to get rid of the Glade Heart, but I don't have a choice because I'm going to die if I don't because it's four and then five. Yeah. So I have to block your biggest creatures. This okay. will at least... So take, first strike yeah. damage and then... Yep. It'll go down again. Or no, it won't go down again because it doesn't have double strike. Yeah, just first. And then yeah. both my creatures die. And then I take three. Does that have trample? This has trample. Okay, the Glade Heart was a 3-3, three, three, so I take four. Yes. Uh, that one. You didn't. You had a plus one, plus one counter, so you had a four toughness. So you didn't take anything from this. Correct. So I'm taking one, this. So you took one, two, three. Yeah, four. Four from, okay, got it. And yeah. then I get the Renown there. No trigger there. Uh, we will second main Welkin turn. It is a 2-1 flying bird that can only block other creatures with flying. And then the dashy boy comes back to my hand who will just get hard cast. Hard cast. Go ahead, Nelson. Alright, one more turn and no way to gain life. Ooh. Or do I? Healy Hawk! <laughs> um, I'm going to pay three. Uh, Kitenal Wood Readers. And that's all I can do. And I am a dead boy. Yeah, untap. Again. Keep, draw, and I'll add a man in my mana pool and delete one. There it is. Yep. Cool. Ooh, house. Uh, I was very happy with the deck I drafted out of the gate. Um, I managed to land um, some pretty good fixing. I wound up in three colors. My first pick of the deck was Underworld Coinsmith. Um, I know picking a gold card right away is draft taboo, but this card is really, really solid, and uh, its activated ability of paying a one white and one black and a life uh, to have each opponent lose one life is some reach and inevitability uh, in these draft games, which tend to turn into like land wars. Um, from there, I drafted heavy enchantments. Um, 
the deck, it, it came together, but ultimately my mana base did fail me. Um, I had eight sources of white mana in the deck, and I only managed to get one um, right before I died. Um, in my hand, I had a, a wall of omens that would have really stalled out Tija's insect that grew each turn until I had the, uh, the mana to cast uh, Collar the Culprit which would have uh, taken care of his insect. And once that was gone, um, I did have some other threats in hand. Um, it really just came to RN Jesus, like taking it to me. Um, his deck just rolled right right over me. Having to sacrifice my, my court Hussar uh, also really, really hurt. If I had a white available when I cast that, it would have stayed in play. Uh, blocked it once, just bouncing off of each other, and then uh, blocking it a second time before the court Hussar would have died. Um, like I said, just if I had white, I would have been able to stabilize, and we would have had a game, but it just turned into a blowout without uh, missing missing the, my, one of my three colors. I think my deck did pretty well overall, uh, especially considering that I ended up mulliganing down to six and only keeping a one-land hand. Uh, I was real nervous at the start, but uh, the first card I played was a cycling card, so I was able to draw one more card, which wasn't a land, but then when I drew for turn, it was a mountain, and then just from there, I I was fine. I had all the early plays, I was just putting more and more creatures on the board, Chris unfortunately wasn't able to play anything, um, and I just kind of got there uh, real quick, in and out. Um, so I drafted Black Red, um, <clears throat> I drafted five playtest cards. Uh, I really wanted to see one in particular, um, but any of them would have been fun to play. They, they look like fun cards, and as evidenced by Time Sidewalk, uh, they can definitely do work. Um, so uh, the deck seems fun. The uh, I haven't drafted in years, but just sitting back down, reading these cards. Uh, I, I know it's, it's just a small subset with four people instead of eight, but it reminds me about how much I love drafting. Uh, this is definitely something we should keep doing in the future is, is just little teeny drafts like this. They're, they're, it, was, it was a blast. Um, seeing uh, that time sidewalk in uh, Schnell's game, though, um, that made me real excited uh, just because it's a playtest card and it did something fancy and he got his four uh, extra turns out of it. That card really pulled it out for him there. Um, so with, uh, uh, with Schnell's time sidewalk on the table and my five on hitherto known uh, playtest cards. I'm excited to see what happens in this final match. Uh, so what I thought I would bring to this uh, post-game recap is some cards that I thought I was going to get to see, but since Chanel took twice as many turns as I did, uh, you know, you, you just didn't get to see maybe what, what was in my deck that was kind of cool and why I wanted to play those cool cards. Uh, I'm, I'm joking, though. That uh, time sidewalk was brutal, uh, but it was it was awesome. Uh, I totally would have played it had I had I drafted it and had blue cards, so uh, no hard feelings there, and it was fun to watch. Um, so basically, I was trying to uh, go, go really low CMC with a deck first with uh, a lot of different types of evasion or at least um, other mechanics that would help, right? Like defender, first strike, things like that. Um, but there was some flying... Uh, I did I did uh, find a recruiter of the guard which was going to be something I thought that could help me you know grab some of my lower CMC cards um, I, I did pack a lot of stuff that would destroy artifacts or enchantments because I didn't know what people had um, and there was some cool stuff getting passed around the table but you know like I didn't know there was a dolmen gate so had that come out it would have been helpful to be able to blow that up I definitely had cards that could do that and recruiter of the guard was a way that I could try to tutor for some of that um, some of that stuff. Uh, Hornet Nest I thought would be something that I could get out early and maybe get some, you know, make some tokens that would have evasion, um, um, you know, in, in flying plus, that, plus the death touch, but I uh, didn't get the Hornet's Nest out. Uh, Chancellor of the Annex is one of my bombs. I absolutely love New Phyrexia, and when I saw this card in there, it was an automatic pick for me because I knew I was going to run, run white anyway and thought, you know, hey, towards the end of the game, uh, if I'm looking for a mana sink, you can't, you know, you could do worse than uh, Chancellor of the Annex. So that was that was in there. Uh, Bow of Nylia I thought was really going to be helpful in a deck with uh, you know such a low curve for the majority of the deck, um, and it, it came out, but I just wasn't able to keep up with the pace of Schnell's board. That Phantom, Phantom Centaur really hurt because um, you know damage would have been prevented, counters removed, you know all that jazz. So uh, it just did not work out the way that I wanted it to, um, and. 
Uh, the other one, I, I was sitting on this in my hand. I was I was one mana away from it at the end. It could have gotten me an extra blocker. Uh, Decree of Justice, this was going to be another late game uh, mana sink, but I wasn't able to do anything with it. Having one more mana available would have helped uh, to get a Sarah Angel out on the board uh, for another blocker and more evasion. But uh, like I said, because it's XX, I needed just one more land so that I could do X as one, but couldn't, couldn't quite get there. Um, it was a fun game. I think the deck... Uh, it would have been fun to, to play more with it, um, but you know it was it was cool. I I, I like this set a lot. Um, the draft is kind of wonky, but it was it was really fun to do. I definitely do it again, um, assuming that Schnell doesn't time sidewalk me uh, immediately again because that was awesome. But it was also he got time walks. He got four time walks, and he found all four of them. I think he had three in his hand at one point simultaneously. It was brutal, but it was fun. Good game. Uh, so pack one, pick one was Dolmen Gate, which I immediately went, okay, it's it's an artifact, it's a great artifact, and it's all about combat, so rather than trying to go small evasion-y stuff, I can just do big ground and pound and not have to worry about it, and then I didn't get much, or I didn't see this, uh, obviously, time sidewalk. Uh, this was one of my, one of my concerns with Mystery Draft as well, I kind of stated, uh, beforehand that... There are times when just one person gets an absurd card and it just goes nuts. Uh, in fairness, if I draw Time Sidewalk, I don't have four islands in the deck, so I can't actually play it. If it's in my opening hand, and then I eventually draw all four of those Time Walk tokens, well, that's done an advantage that no one can reasonably come back from. So, uh, we'll see how this match with uh, with Tiege goes. Uh... Yeah, well, if we can if we can take four extra turns, I think we have this in the bag. If not, I'll have to fight him on the ground like a regular Magic player. So let's see how it goes. Coming for you, say not yet. <clears throat> no blood on the table, please, boys. Five. Three. Beating me by one <laughs> with my own dice. Listen, will you be on the uh, play or the draw then? I'll be on the play. Always, always on the play. Always on the play. But not with this hand. He'd like to draw now, please. <laughs> Are you keeping? I will be keeping. Hmm. Well, hot under the collar. Wonder what he could have. have. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why he wouldn't want to shift, uh, shuffle that away. What doing? Oh. If Chris and I die commentating, because Thor just gave me the <laughs> gave me the look. The best seven cards in the bottom of the library. Patrolling. Patrolling for mice and teach calves. I will keep it. Okay. Show me time sidewalk. I don't have time. Ah! I took it oh! Out. I took it out? It took it oh. out. Oh! Because again, if I don't draw it, I can't play it, so it's a big dead card. It's true. It's true. All right. You did it once, you don't want to attempt fate. Uh, yeah, it's, I will, it will be my first draw of this game, and I just am stuck with a big seven drop, can't play it. Eight drop. Uh, you're going to have to go back and look at the tape, because I honestly don't know if I drew a card and I wasn't supposed to. How many cards are in your hand? Uh, the the first game with Chris. Oh, shit. There's a good I chance think, I might have... I don't have... think you did. You don't think so? Okay. I don't think. No. I don't recall that happening. Right. I don't think you did. We good? Let me start with the swamp. Okay. Wait, you started this the same as the other game. Maybe you did. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe you drew one now. <laughs> okay. Untap, upkeep, draw One, two, for three, sure. four, five, six, seven. I'm good. Okay. Uh, Mountain Pass. Hmm. Draw. Ooh. Uh, I will start with a Swamp. Nothing gets me hot and bothered like pop proper phases. <laughs> Skulking Ghost. I love that card. To one flying, when it becomes the target of a spell or ability, I have to sacrifice it. He's a cute little guy. Pass turn. Oh. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, Island into a Sword of the Animist. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good nice. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Combat. Two. Now he's got a ramp without four time walks, like a pled. <laughs> like a bitch. Uh, second main <laughs> mountain and Kenra Scrapper. Hey, it's uh, back. Two, three menace. I can exert it if I choose to. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, land for the turn into a Valacute Predator. Uh, two, two. Landfall. It gets plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. 
Nice. Go Drafted ahead. a lot of those back in Battle for Zendikar. I mean, that's when you would have. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Draw. Uh, first main. I will play Goblin Warpaint on my Kenra Scrapper. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. Mm-hmm. Oof to doof to. Right in his bitch mouth. I will <laughs> move to combat, and yep. I will attack you for six. Uh, Menace, Menace flying. and flying. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to twelve. Yeesh. Second main swamp pass. On top. Teach doing teach Run. things. Yeah. Um. We will move to equip. We won't be able to get the land. Wait. Whenever it attacks. It's so yes. Yep. Yeah. You so uh, go to combat. Yep. Swing. Attack. Mm, no effects. Trigger. This seems like a cool little synergy. So I'm going to take four. Uh, well, landfall, no. you're yeah. going to take five. five. Plus one, plus one, granted yeah. by the equipment. Fifteen. Nice. That is a handy synergy. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, tap. This game is going to be over in two turns. Uh, draw. You sound yes. pretty confident. <laughs> Move to combat. Yep. Uh, six again. Yep. Did you remove the planes from your deck? <laughs> I did. Okay, I did. Good. That would have been. <laughs> that Second been... main swamp. Um, wake of vultures. Three one flying. I can pay one black and sacrifice creature to regenerate it. Nice. Pass turn. Okay. On to keep draw. Ah, uh, that'll help a little. So, land for the turn. Landfall trigger. Yep. Then. Um, Three mana. Harrow. Time twister. Oh, Harrow. Sacrifice an island. That's nice. Landfall trigger. Landfall trigger. Yep. Doesn't have trample, though. Nope. <laughs> Four, six, eight, nine. Um. So, yeah, we've had one, two, three, so six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, eleven. Ten, eleven? Well, I'm going to get one more one of the attacks because of got that it, got trigger. It. That makes sense. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any way I can one shot you. I don't think so, but boy, would I like to. Not <laughs> <laughs> that you would. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Was not expecting eleven elevens to be roaming around these parts. Well, yeah. <laughs> so if I make if I take that out, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and I have one mana left. Can I get another? damage out of that. No. So, uh, we will go to combat. Yep. We'll swing. We'll get our land tapped. Trudy. That one. Sure. Anything else before blocks? Uh, no. I'm gonna block it. Shocking. Okay. Then, second main. Welcome turn. 2-1 can only block creatures with flying. And... Uh, Zertar Druid. Ooh, yes. Mounting a defense. Yeah. I, I need to. Very important. Yes. Go yes, ahead. you do. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. Stagger shock your bird. That's a thing. I will move to combat. Okay. I will attack you. I will exert this guy. Yep. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, flying. Sorry, six on the ground and two flying. It has menace. Yeah, well, that I know. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. I just uh, want to misrepresent the board state. Yep. So what I was debating doing is either undying raging that to make you sacrifice it or making your bird off a camp block. Yeah. So that was that was good. That was, that was intense. A, it was. was a good game. Yep. That was a good game. Woo! Uh... Quick game, um, Black Wed, Black Wed. 
Uh, Black Red took it away. Uh, just uh, my cards were fast. I had flyers, uh, cheap flyers. Ken Scrapper is a, a, a menace boy, and that can get real scary if you're just not dropping creatures. Uh, so um, luckily, I, I didn't have to contend with the time sidewalk, which I wouldn't have taken it out. But that's just me. I want to play the silly things. Um, but uh, Chanel, he he wanted to walk away with this one. He wanted to um, he wanted to put up a good fight. And he had options. Uh, he could have taken things out, but in the end, I just had more damage than he could do with in the uh, uh, on on board. So, like I said in the uh, first interview, I drafted five play test cards. I didn't see any of them, but I wanted to run through them real quick here. Um, Smelt Herd Saw is just a a split card, but they had to model it up because it's three cards in one. Uh, I can pay one red to destroy an artifact, or herd is five and a green to create two, th uh, three, two, two green elk creature tokens. I didn't have any green in my deck. I didn't care about that one. Saw, though. Saw was uh, the one that I was most excited about. One in black for sorcery to destroy a target creature. Its controller creates two, one, two red half creature tokens. Um, it's removal, but it splits it up into two things. So, uh, the other thing, uh, the other ones I have real quick, Spell Morph, Raise Dead. Uh, it has Spell Morph, so it's kind of like Morph. Uh, only instead of flipping up a creature, you flip up a instant or sorcery. Uh, and then you just cast it. And this one is, uh, uh, instant to return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, I had Chimney Goyf. I shouldn't stack them up like that. That might be hard for the computer. Uh, Chimney Goyf, uh, is a star, star plus one, Lurgoyf Imp with flying. Uh, his power and toughness are equal to the number of card types among cards in all graveyards, and its toughness is that plus one. And when it dies, target opponent puts a card from their hand on top of their library. Another flyer, uh, no telling how big it would actually be, but if it dies, uh, it costs you a draw. The, uh, Zyru Spectre is a cute little ghost. Uh, two two with flying. Whenever it deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card unless they challenge you. If challenged and you show them two black cards in your hand, they must discard two cards. Uh, this one, the ability didn't. Uh, uh, what was that say? Fluffy, Fluffy the very hypnotic specter. That's adorable. Um, the ability wasn't so much what I was excited about. It was just another flyer in black. Um, but the one that I wanted to see, the one I was most excited about, is Gunk Slug. 2-3 uh, Slug, when it enters the battlefield, create three Gunk token cards and shuffle them into target opponent's library. Um, gunk cards, uh, Gunk is a colorless sorcery card with no mana cost that has cycling four. It just shuffles three cards that uh, into your, your opponent's deck. Uh, the only thing they do is cycle for four. Um, it adds cards to a limited deck, so uh, 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 it, it makes your deck a little bit bigger, less of a chance of you drawing your, your things. This one I wanted to see in action. I wanted to see uh, uh, how quickly uh, my opponent could draw their gunk cards. And if time sidewalk was any indication, like like all those gunk tokens would be right on top there, costing them draws. Um, but uh, fun cards, fun looking cards. Um, didn't get to see them. Uh, but I, I do kind of, in theory, like the idea of shuffling cards into an opponent's deck. Uh, it's not possible to do in a regular Magic game. It's more of a digital card game type thing. Uh, but here in the Mystery Booster Draft, it would have been fun to attempt to pull off. Um, Mystery, uh, Mystery Draft, I love Mystery Boosters. Uh, I've drafted this once, maybe twice, I don't remember. Uh, but it's always a good time. The card pool is enormous. Uh, there's so many good things in there. Um, uh, I'm glad we got a chance to do this, especially with the, the playtest cards. Even though I think out of all the games, we only saw the one playtest card... Nevertheless, it was uh, it adds an element to the draft, an element to your strategy. Uh, it's very well worth it. So if you can get your hands on some of these, I highly recommend doing it with you and your friends. Uh, so Valkoop Predator was the earliest creature that I got out, and this thing was a powerhouse. I just needed some way to make it evasive. Uh, Sword of the Animist is probably the best thing that I uh, pulled for this deck because the Dolmen Gate that was a pack one, pick one, never saw it. Uh, I did, as I told Teej, I did take the uh, time sidewalk out just because I had no real way of casting it if it wasn't in my opening hand, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to lock myself down to the mentality of having to mulligan down to find it just so that I could guarantee putting those cards in my deck, and then I put myself at a disadvantage, and I'm also down cards and looking for additional things that 
cost me blue mana, and there's only three islands in the deck. Uh, islands, uh, blue in general, was a pack three splash. I kept getting a couple of blue cards gifted to me from Chris, so I eventually wanted to put them to use, and getting that time sidewalk late in the late in the draft, I, I couldn't pass that thing up. So it was it was a great opportunity to, uh, to draft this and play this. Um, I want to get back to some regular EDH before we do this again, but I do want to pepper in more drafts periodically because this was quick, this was fun, and it, it scratches that itch that uh, EDH just doesn't always handle. So thank you for watching. Please, please like and subscribe.